was about to take a job at the Trump presidential campaign. Vladimir Putin was working behind the scenes to attack our election to help swing the election in Trump's favor. Uh, Nostrovia. It's all a little obvious. Uh, we're going on three years now since that picture was taken. Given all that's happened since then, the picture almost looks weirder um, by the day that General Flynn, it looks weirder now uh, than the day that General Flynn was sitting there in Putin with Moscow just ahead of joining the Trump campaign, right? I mean, why would he do that? What was he doing there in Moscow that day? Tonight, thanks to some new reporting from the Wall Street Journal, uh, we do know a little bit more about the circumstances there. We now know, for example, what Mike Flynn was doing right before he flew to Moscow uh, to have that dinner. Turns out he was talking to this guy, Peter W. Smith. Uh, Peter Smith was a longtime Republican operative. Last May, he was found dead in a Minnesota hotel room. Uh, his death was ruled by authorities as a suicide. Just a few days before Mr. Smith died, he had done an interview with the Wall Street Journal in which he somewhat cheerfully told them about a project he'd been working on during the 2016 campaign, trying to track down what he believed were thousands of emails that had been hacked from Hillary Clinton's private email server. He contacted people who he believed were Russian hackers online to encourage them to get Clinton emails so those emails could be used against Clinton in the election for Trump's benefit. In other words, Peter Smith, U.S. citizen, volunteered to the Wall Street Journal last year that he, as an American citizen, really had tried to collude with Russia to influence the presidential election in Trump's favor. Since then, one important question about that story has been, well, was he just doing this as Peter Smith, private citizen? Or was he doing this as an agent of the Trump campaign? Well, tonight, the Wall Street Journal has figured out a, a piece of that. Tonight, the Wall Street Journal adds the somewhat startling news in which the story of General Flynn and that dinner in Moscow and the strange story of Peter Smith and his attempted collusion with Russia around Hillary Clinton's emails, those stories kind of come together. Quoting from the journal, quote, a veteran Republican activist whose quest to obtain Hillary Clinton's emails from hackers dominated the final months of his life. He struck up a professional relationship with Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor to Trump, as early as 2015 and told associates during the presidential campaign that he was using the retired general's connections to help him on the email project. Quote, the late Peter Smith met with General Flynn in 2015, according to people familiar with the matter. Quote, in an email reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, one of Mr. Smith's former associates wrote to a friend last week, as you are aware, Peter started a business relationship with General Mike Flynn in November 2015. We spoke with him on the day he left for his trip to Moscow. So that's what Mike Flynn was doing before he hopped that plane to Moscow. Apparently he was talking to Peter Smith, the Republican operative who was trying to reach Russian hackers online to get Hillary Clinton's emails. We spoke with him on the day he left for his trip to Moscow. Wall Street Journal has done incredible reporting on this story. They have been pulling at this thing for more than a year. Uh, as has Robert Mueller, the special counsel. He has reportedly questioned witnesses connected to the late Mr. Smith, including at least one before the grand jury. He apparently has a trove of documents and hard drives that belong to Peter Smith. But, I mean, sort of bottom line here, this one American, now deceased, who cheerfully admitted to colluding with Russia to try to get Hillary Clinton's emails to influence the election. He is dead now. But according to the journal's reporting, he does appear to have had a real working relationship at the time with someone at the top of the Trump campaign. What exactly does that mean and what happens next here? Joining us now is Shelby Holiday. She's a reporter at the Wall Street Journal who was part of breaking this story today. Uh, Ms. Holiday, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, so let, first let me ask you, me summing that up, did I get any of that wrong? No. Okay. Factually, it was correct. Okay, so in terms of this email, which says that there was a relationship between Flynn and uh, Mr. Smith mm -hmm. in 2015, at a sort of crucial time right. for this timeline, what can you tell us about that email, the circumstances of it, and whether you see it as, 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 uh, as uh, I guess, hard and fast evidence that that relationship did exist? 
Well, the person who wrote the email declined to talk to us. We'd love to speak to him to get more context, hear more about this relationship. Um, but we've seen the email, and the email led us to believe that, yes, in fact, there was a relationship between these two men before Flynn, as you said, took off to Mas Moscow and then later joined the Trump campaign. Um, we've been able to confirm that with sources. Uh, we do know that they were in touch in 2015. We don't know if any business deals came of that. We don't have any reason to think that they did. And we also don't know what they spoke about before Michael Flynn left and hopped on that plane to Russia. We and, don't know. And at the time, Mike Flynn had left the Defense Intelligence Agency under difficult circumstances. Right. He had formed a private intelligence group. And you suggest in the story that it's possible that Peter Smith was looking at a potential investment opportunity, maybe wanted to become involved in Flynn's business. Right. And Peter Smith was a man who had his hands in a lot of different businesses. He was an investor. He had a lot of different connections. He was a, a Republican. His friends describe him as an ardent conservative. Mm -hmm. So it, it would make sense if these two were trying to connect on a business level um, that they would have a meeting. Not sure if anything came of it. And again, we, we don't know if anything came up related to Hillary Clinton's emails. But we do know that Peter Smith for a very long time was convinced that Hillary Clinton's emails were out there, that he could get them, and that they would be very damaging to her, that they would spill secrets that she didn't want revealed related to her work in the Obama administration. Now, the other part of this that has rung for so long since the journal first broke this story is that Smith kept saying when he was talking to other people about this project, about his effort to try to get Hillary Clinton's emails, he talked a little bit about how he was trying to get them, how he was happy to try to get them from Russian hackers if that's who had them. Right. Uh, but he also bragged about his relationship with the Trump campaign, including didn't he specifically brag about having a relationship with Flynn? Yeah, he used Flynn as, as a person who was helping the effort. So when he approached investors, that was somebody he said was working on his side. And he also- Drop his name. He dropped his name a yeah. lot. He also had documents that said um, Steve Bannon was involved, Kellyanne Conway. Those people have completely denied involvement. Some of them have even said, we don't even know who Peter Smith is. Mm -hmm. It's nuts that our name is on this document. Uh, Michael Flynn has declined to comment. He pleaded guilty and he's cooperating with investigators. Sort of makes sense he's not talking, but he hasn't pushed back as much. He hasn't pushed back as fiercely as some of those others in the Trump campaign. See, so. that's the, to me, that's the super clarifying thing about this story. I followed every incremental development of the story as the journal has reported it, and the reporting team on this have just been amazing. Thank you. But for me, this is sort of like we've now taken a turn, because without knowing anything about Peter Smith other than his activism and what we know about what he was doing before he died, him dropping lots of people's names and saying, yeah, I'm in with all of these guys. Don't worry, this is totally legit. The Trump campaign actually has me working on this. He might just be some crazy dude. But if there's this corroborating information that when he was dropping Flynn's name, that might have been about something real because him and Flynn did actually meet. They did have some sort of ongoing relationship. That implicates at least Flynn, if not the Trump him, came more broadly in what Smith was doing. Well, and he, yes, and I think that's a really good point because he could be a crazy person and some of his friends think he was a deluded old man who was on this crazy mission to get Clinton's emails. But he wasn't crazy in the way that he went about it. He formed a company. It was very secretive. He had a dummy email account. We reported this a couple days ago. A dummy email account where he had people leave drafts, but he didn't ever want them to send emails because then they couldn't be traced. Um, he did An it in a very secretive trick. way, yeah. and yeah. he was raising money from at least four donors. We reported that he raised at least $100,000 for these efforts. And a big question is, did he go off and pay hackers? He told the journal that he was in touch with five groups of hackers. Two of them he believed were Russian and had ties to the Kremlin. So, you know, it raises lots of questions about whether or not he was crazy and if he was very aware of what he was doing and whether or not what he was doing was wrong. And just to be clear, in terms of following the money here, you guys have now been able to track people, Americans, from whom Smith raised money for this project. We don't yet know if Smith actually sent money to, to the Russians, uh, to the Russians or to anybody else in order to pay for what he thought he was getting. Correct. Shelby Holiday, reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Keep going. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks it's great to have me. you here. All right. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.